Hi guys, uh, this is Sanjay Gupta. Today I wanted to um, talk to you about baby elephants, okay? This will all make sense shortly, but because this is a new year and a new year is time for new beginnings and new year's resolutions, I thought I'd run this past you. Uh, and it's some, and maybe it might inspire someone to do something differently. Um, but one of the things that I'm incredibly passionate about is animals. You know, I have great, great compassion for animals. Uh, I come from Africa. Uh, and in Africa, we have a lot of elephants and one of my favorite charities is a, a charity called the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust where they adopt these baby elephants who've been separated from their mothers at a young age and they bring them up and they then restore them to the wild. And that got me thinking because I was reading a story about baby elephants in other countries and what tends to happen is when uh, a, a baby elephant gets separated from its mother and the elephant can sometimes uh, inadvertently venture into an um, an area inhabited by humans and what the humans will do sometimes uh, is uh, that they capture the elephant and then they train it uh, to work for them for the rest of its life uh, either as a tourist attraction or to help uh, carry wood but basically this elephant ends up becoming enslaved for the rest of its life now when the elephant is still a baby you know when it's uh, held in captivity it's tied to a tree with a strong rope or chain uh, and because it is the nature of the elephant to roam free this baby elephant will instinctively try with all its might to try and break away um, from this tree that it's tied to at night but it doesn't succeed because it's not strong enough to do that you see and because it's not strong enough to do that uh, after trying for a few nights, it sort of accepts the fact that that's where it is. Now, what is really interesting is that as the baby gets bigger and bigger, it becomes stronger and stronger. But, and, it, and, and the villagers are clever because they still continue to tie it to the same branch or same tree with the same rope. The thing is that the elephant has actually become so big and so strong that it could easily break away from this. Uh, but because its mind has been conditioned by these prior experiences when it was a baby, it doesn't even make the slightest attempt to break free. And this powerful, gigantic elephant is limited, it's present uh, because of the limitations of the past. This is called the baby elephant syndrome. It is unfortunate, incredibly sad to see, because this amazing creature who is strong and was meant for the wild spends his whole life enslaved because it never tries, because it is uh, accepting the false boundaries that were and limitations that had been created by the past. So when I heard the story, I was really saddened by it. I thought, well, how terrible. But the more I thought about it, the more I started realizing, isn't that what a lot of us do in our lives? Okay, pretty well much everyone I speak to through the videos I do yeah, suffers from anxiety. Everywhere I look, people have health-related anxiety. People are fearful of their health. People are fearful of what may happen to them in the future. And in so doing, they let the fear enslave them, okay? We're human beings, we, have, we are able to understand and we should, uh, you know, um, try and understand that actually what fear does is it enslaves us. It places false boundaries. The truth is there is really nothing to be fearful of, you know. Um, when we worry about our heart, we think of this as this very delicate structure and something bad could happen and we could drop down dead. Our hearts are incredibly resilient, okay? Women go through childbirth where they're carrying two, where they're, so the, the one heart is supporting two beings uh, uh, and they don't come to any harm. People go through wars and uh, never come to any harm. So the truth is our hearts are incredibly strong, incredibly resilient. And the problem that we face is that largely the fear is imposed upon us because of our mind, because our mind, um, uh, chooses to believe these false boundaries, okay? And so one of the things I would say to you is there is nothing worse, there is nothing worse than missing out on a wholehearted life because of fear, okay? I know that, you know, we have to accept the fact that, you know, we're on this planet and all of us are going to die one day, but what is worse than death? What is worse than death is not having lived. And if you're looking for a New Year's resolution, I would thoroughly encourage you to aim towards a fearless life. 
and try and do those things, you know, in small doses, things that make you scared. And when you do them, you'll gain that confidence and you'll realize that actually there's nothing to be fearful of. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Our hearts are incredibly strong. We should try and make the most of our lives. We should get out there and enjoy and have fun and um, have adventures and be courageous and look forward to things and spend that time uh, living a wholehearted life uh, because uh, uh, otherwise we miss out on that which is the most important thing about life, which is life itself. So I hope that um, this is slightly a philosophical thing, but you know, because I deal with so many people with anxiety and I'd read the story, I really wanted to share it with you. Some of you, I'm sure, have heard of it before, but uh, I do think that it, it, we can learn a lot uh, from the story and realize that actually all we need to do is break free and there is a life of freedom and adventure uh, out there waiting for us. What we shouldn't do is let ourselves become enslaved by fear because enslavement, because a lack of freedom, inherently causes stress, and stress is bad for us. So I hope you found this useful. I'd love to hear what you think about this. I wish you again uh, a very uh, happy new year, and I hope this year uh, we will all live a more fearless life uh, and a more contented life. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care.